Good morning. Good morning on this slightly sunny Saturday. I must say the sun is attempting to come out. We have so much to talk about. We have so much to do. I obviously didn't vlog last weekend because I was away. Obviously I put up a very exciting haul for you which even though it wasn't a vlog and it was a slightly shorter video than normal definitely still go and watch it because it was a fantastic haul. I was actually pretty proud of that one. It's good to be back vlogging this weekend. I thought we would just have a little bit of a day in the life, a little bit of a spend the day with me because I need to catch you up on my work trip, the bedroom as well. I'm really excited to show you that the bedroom has now been painted and I'm really happy with it. So you'll have to let me know what you think. There is a little fluffy doggy here with us today and he was asleep on the bed whilst I was doing my hair but he seems to have disappeared so <laughs> I don't know if he's out somewhere with James or if he's just downstairs but we will go and find him in just a moment. Palmer was absolutely lovely, I had a really nice time, as much of a nice time as I could have despite the fact I was working so I didn't really get to see much of Palmer specifically like we didn't really go outside the hotel very much and the quiet time that we did have on the Saturday afternoon I basically spent half of it sleeping because I was so tired I got back late on the Sunday I pretty much was wiped out the whole weekend at this work trip and then it was straight back to work on Monday so this is literally my first like official day off of my job for two weeks <laughs> like I haven't had a day off since that I had a very slow morning it's currently 11 54 so the morning is almost up we got up I fed Ronnie at, I think about eight o'clock and then we decided to head out for a really nice morning walk and it was just it was so fresh I think I did take a few clips so you will have seen probably in the intro how the ground was looking and I don't know how much of the actual frost I would have been able to capture. I've got a really annoying bit of hair here. That yeah we went for a lovely frosty morning Saturday walk and it was just lovely. It gave me a bit of exercise, it got me outside which is just what I needed to start the day. Had some breakfast, came home, jumped straight into the shower, gave my hair a nice thorough wash did my skincare, got myself ready and here we are. Now I will show you what James is up to when I get the chance to go outside because he actually, hats off to him, came up with a really good idea for the front of our house. So we basically have a front lawn and then directly as you walk out our front door you've got a pathway and then just to the right hand side of the pathway there's basically some slate. It's like the width of a pathway, basically, a narrow pathway. And we've just got loads of slate, and that is all that separates, basically, our pathway from our neighbour's driveway. We've sort of been toing and froing as to what to do with this patch of slate, because we thought, do we turf it? And then we thought, no, it's probably not worth turfing it. We thought, do we extend the pathway and just kind of patio it? And then I was like, no, because my my brain isn't going to be able to cope with like the lack of symmetry with the pathway going across some of the house. So that was a no. And he's come up with a really good idea. Um, he went and found some completely free pallets, so like loads of pallets. I can't even remember where he got them from. But he is putting his DIY to the test. And he is using the pallets to basically create some big... Um, planters to go on the slate so I think we're going to make two um, to basically just sit on top of the slate and it means that I've got loads of space well a fair amount of space to add some more plants to the front of the garden and I think it's going to look really good in about 15 minutes time I need to leave the house to go and pick something up, which I will show you. This, I think, is going to be one of my projects for today. So I think it's going to be a little bit more of like a DIY vlog today. But I was scrolling Facebook Marketplace this morning and I found someone that lives not too far away in like another estate um, selling the most beautiful Laura Ashley floor lamp, basically. Firstly, it's the most gorgeous um, base 
but the um the shade sorry i can't get my words out today the shade on the base is kind of like a dusky pink color and i'm not convinced it's going to work because i want to put it in this room basically i don't know how well you can see but basically in this empty corner where i've got a bit of pampas at the moment i've just been kind of using it to fill the space so yeah i think i'm gonna have to change the shade at some point so i'll have to have a hunt for that but in the meantime the base is a wooden base and it looks really lovely and it's kind of like a um a white painted kind of distressed wood look maybe i'll love it maybe i'll love it but it does look like it's got a few marks on it and I'm kind of thinking, do I take the same approach as I took for the stair banister? If you haven't seen the stair banister, you're gonna be like, well, I don't know what that is. So I have some French chic paint and some French chic browning wax, which I use to basically create like a faux wood effect on our stair banister. And I'm kind of thinking, do I get the buffing brushes out and the browning wax and do the same thing for this lamp base? So yeah, we'll crack on with that today. Once I get back, I will show you the bedroom. I'll show you what James has been up to and we will go from there. But I'm excited. I feel like it's going to be a really productive and hopefully successful afternoon. I think I can spot a little fairy face peering over the cushion. I think I can spot a little furry bottom sitting on the sofa. Sleeping on my new blanket as well. That didn't take you long to discover that, did it? Okay, we have a lamp. We have a lamp with a very wonky lampshade, which is completely my fault. It was a very loose lampshade and I just couldn't get it to go in the car. So I really have bent it, I think, but I need to uh, find a way to get it off. It did come with a light bulb. Let me try and show you up close. The light is just not going to get it, but can you kind of see the texture that's on here? She said, actually, that she bought it secondhand and that someone had already upcycled it, which is quite exciting. So I need to find a way to remove this lampshade. Once I've figured that part out, I can pop into the garage and get painting. So this is the base and you can see it is supposed to have kind of a distressed look, but equally, I do think it is just looking a little bit worse for wear. And I think where you've got all of these chips in it as well, I think with the wood effect, it will make it look really lovely. This is the first layer done. Don't know how well the light is going to is going to show, but this is basically the first layer done if I put my hand behind it so it should focus. It's basically one layer of the creme de la creme French chic paint. I mean, I'll be honest, I do quite like the colour of it now. <laughs> I do think it looks quite nice, but I just feel like this colour is kind of going to like sink in to the colours of the bedroom and I want it to just stand out a little bit more and I want it to look like a little bit more rustic and yeah I just don't want this to drown in all of the sort of light white colours of the bedroom so I'm going to let this dry I don't think it will need more than one coat because it was quite a light colour anyway and it should be relatively easy to then put the browning wax over the top so I'll leave that for a little while go and make myself a cup of tea I think and then come back for the second bit afterwards. So this is the brush that I use to do the stairs. I am going to give it a, a quick second clean, but I think it should be okay. Like it's not, um, it's not hardened. And then the browning wax, just in case you didn't see, I will go and show you the stairs. Um, this is the browning wax that we've got. It is a big tin and it's not the cheapest thing in the entire world. Like it's not super expensive, but it's not super cheap. But I assure you, we did 
two, no, three lots of stair banisters with this and we barely touched the surface. This is the end result that we're going for. So as you can see, you end up with this really, really gorgeous like faux wood effect and I just flipping love it. So this is kind of similar to the colour that it is now and then this is the colour that it will be by the time I'm done. So I'm very excited. That is basically what we did the whole way up all of our stair banisters and I'm so, so, so glad that we did it. So I have opted, rather than tea, I'm just really craving one of these. I flip and love these. This is actually the last one in the last box that I bought, but I do have an unopened box still in the cupboard because my mum got it for me. Last time she was in Soster and Bren. They are just so yummy, it's like, Oh, it's like a chai latte, but just like caramelly. It's so smooth. Doesn't require milk. It's just so easy to make. So this is what we're going for to warm me up and fill my tummy with <laughs> a yummy drink. We did actually, you may have, uh, if you've been watching it, you, you've probably already finished it now as well. But we actually finished watching the final of The Traitors last night and it was so good like i i knew that it was going to be good anyway but oh, it's the kind of thing that we watch where we kind of like sit on our phones kind of in between and we're kind of like 90 percent focusing on it and by the time it got to like the the second half of the last episode our phones were nowhere to be seen and we were like watching the tv it was so good it, it was I, I remember turning to james at one point and i was like oh my god i feel sick <laughs> it was just yeah it was so tense and even though you already knew kind of what was going on it was still so unpredictable in terms of the decisions that people were going to make so if you haven't watched it then that is a serious tv recommendation because it's just it it's just really good. It's like a reality TV show but with more of a fictional twist to it. And I I genuinely I said this about the first series. I genuinely did not think that it was going to be the kind of TV show that I would enjoy watching and I would get into. But there's just something about it. There's just it's just so interesting watching how 22 humans at the start of it i think there is just interact with each other trust each other deceive each other play the game against each other it's just yeah it <laughs> any recommendations let me know because we now gosh i was really slouching then wasn't i we now need another tv series to watch officially done i'm really pleased with it it doesn't um well i say it doesn't take long to dry the thing i found with this wax is it's touch dry literally within 20 minutes like it it dries really really quickly but for it to fully fully dry it takes maybe like a week i would say or at least that's how long it took when we um Oh, someone's doing a bit of yoga in the hallway. <laughs> that is, that's how long it took when we did the uh, banister for it to like really feel as though it wasn't just going to rub off. Let me spin you around and show you how it looks. It is in the corner of the bedroom, which is exactly what my plan was basically. I don't know how amazing the light's going to be in here. I've got stuff honestly everywhere you've got spring in the corner you've got winter next to it i think i'm going to take those out now because i've just had enough of winter to be honest but yeah this is how it's looking and i'm super super pleased with it look <gasps> i love it i love it i'm really really happy i don't want a massive lampshade because i don't want it to kind of take away from the picture i've got on the wall i'm only going to maybe go one size bigger than the shade that i've got on this lamp because i just I don't think it needs a massive shade. I want it to be quite kind of elegant and 
simple, <laughs> simple but rustic. I thought I would show you whilst I'm up here as well, the t-shirts that I've just ordered from H&M. So this is one of them. Let me take this off and then I can show you properly. I've never seen these on the website before, or at least I've not seen them in certain colors as well. So this is one of them. I really like the shape of it. I really sort of like how the shoulders sit. I like the fitted look. So I got it in an extra small. I also found this really, really gorgeous kind of earthy, muddy brown color. And I've not seen uh, this sort of style t-shirt in this sort of colour on H&M. So whether it's new, I'm not sure. I haven't, um, haven't taken the label off yet. I can't remember the price, but I want to say they were either $7.99 or $9.99, one of the two. It would basically be the same fit as the white one that I've got, but in this lovely brown colour. I don't know, you know it wouldn't really go with this, uh, with this jean colour. But I think with some black trousers of some kind, it would be really nice. It's kind of more of an autumn colour, isn't it? But I think you could really make this work. And it's just a very nice warm colour. I think sometimes lighter beige colours don't really work with my skin tone. And equally, sometimes I struggle a bit with black. So having this slightly warmer colour against my skin tone, I think does make it a little bit uh, a little bit softer I've popped into the range because james is going to go into wicks and get some stuff for the planters i can't talk for very long because i will get copyrighted but whilst i'm in here for a lampshade i thought i'd show you the easter bits because it looks so pretty mm. so good well done i thought i'd show you the view of the planters from up here as well obviously you can only really see one of them but that is how they're looking and i think it's just a really nice kind of separation and just imagine them <laughs> let's ignore <laughs> let's ignore how the roof is looking but just imagine them filled with like beautiful flowers i don't i need to kind of have a think about what i want to put there but I do actually think that some, just like some wild flowers would be absolutely beautiful. Like loads of different colours, loads of different varieties. Um, I don't know if I'll do them the same, but maybe I'll just get some of those little wildflower seed balls that you can get and put some of those in. Um, yeah, that's, that's maybe one idea that I've got. But if anyone has got any ideas as to what I could put in the planters any suggestions of things that are relatively easy to maintain um but also look beautiful then let me know what sort of thing you would put in there because i'm very open to ideas and i'm still very new to the whole gardening thing so it would be much appreciated so i have changed into comfies i did actually take this shade downstairs so that I could measure it with the tape measure and then basically make sure that the one I was buying was like one size up. I did get this shade here, which is very, very similar to the one on the lamp, but you may be able to see it's just ever so slightly lighter. It's kind of like an oatmeal, an oatmeal sort of off white and it's a really lovely texture as well. If you can see on here, it's got like a really nice sort of linen texture to it. So let's get this wrapping off. I think it will be the perfect size. I think that looks pretty good. I did actually get one other thing whilst I was in the range. So whilst I was in that, I don't know if these are new, but I've never seen them in here before. They had a candle version of this and they also had a diffuser version of this candle. And I thought it was gorgeous. It's from the True Aroma Wet range It's from the True Aroma range. That's kind of hard to say. Um, and I think I have had a candle from that range before. The lid itself is actually like stuck down. So I could only sort of go like this in the shop. But it did smell 
yeah see i've just had a whiff of it now it did smell really lovely and it was only 5.99 which i didn't think was too bad for a three wick candle it smells um it's definitely got vanilla it's almost like a floral fresh vanilla it's called the neroli water reactive glaze candle and it's 285 grams the diffuser is just as gorgeous and that was 6.99 i was really really close to buying that but i have so many diffusers that i haven't opened yet i need to get through those first but i really loved it almost reminded me of our dinner set downstairs it's really similar but i loved the glaze on here and i loved the kind of different tone that you get around the rim of it as well i think it just looks i kind of have a bit of a thing at the moment for candles that look a bit more like ornaments let's get this lampshade on it's going to take me about 10 years to unwrap it because it always does with lampshades doesn't it is it still too small or does it look okay i think it looks okay maybe it's too small still but then i think if i had it any bigger it would be in the way of the artwork that I've got on the wall. And I do kind of really like this whole look together. Doesn't the wood just look gorgeous here? And I actually like that this is lighter than the other lampshade because it kind of enhances the wood a bit more. I just, this this whole shot with the wallpaper, the wall color, the wood, I'm loving this. And then I've put the lamp, just for now, I've put it up into the windowsill in the snug here. I don't think I'm gonna keep it there, but I do actually really want a lamp in this room because obviously we haven't got a lamp in this corner and so we either have to have the big light on or we have to just go by the TV light and sometimes it's nice to have a bit of an in-between. So just for now, I've popped it up on the windowsill here. I don't know if I ever, have I ever showed you these cushions? I can't remember if I have. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. But I got these made, it needs a bit of a a bit of a fluff but i got these made by a lovely lady on instagram i will tag her instagram account down below or her website down below because she buys neptune fabrics so this is the orla moss fabric and then makes them into beautiful cushions for literally a third of the price probably not even that like less than a third of the price so yeah it's got neptune on the front and then a gorgeous linen fabric on the back. Okay, I think it's about time I showed you the bedroom upstairs because I've been talking about it the entire day and I still haven't showed you. So let me spin you around. Okay, the bedroom's tidy, <laughs> that's good. Let me spin you around and show you the new paint color. So hopefully the lighting is going to do it justice. I will put a picture on the screen of how it looked before because I think when you actually compare it to the before colour, you can really, really see the difference. How much warmer does this look? I'm really, really pleased with it. I love the light sort of coloured bedding. So I've taken off the darker brown throw because I just didn't feel like it was working. And I really love this cushion combination as well that I've got with the other neptune <laughs> cushion and then the two dusk ones here but how much better in my opinion does this look and if i turn you round as well this is kind of still a work in progress in terms of styling as you may be able to tell but again if i put a picture next to it of how it used to look you can really really see the difference now the reason i've put this here as well is because i am kind of thinking maybe i could put this up there because obviously i'll have an arrangement in that vase eventually so i don't know that i want to center it on the wall but i'm thinking it could look really nice up there so that's just a thought i need to get james up here to hold it for me so that i can stand back and really have a look we've actually done the laundry room in the same color as well so we used the same paint in this room as we have done in the bedroom as a reminder it is elephant's breath by Faro and ball and we got brewers to match it in their own brand paint which i get on really well with it's a really good quality paint it goes on nicely we've had no issues using it for the walls for the media unit it's really nice so yeah a bit of a bedroom update for you i'm really really pleased with how it's coming along 
The next task I have is to find some nice artwork to go above the bed because I just don't like that empty space. So I'm thinking I'm gonna find a nice, not too big, but a nice uh, landscape rectangular piece of artwork to go up there. I might go and find a really nice sort of vintage print off of something like Trove Prints or Muse Home on Instagram and then pop to somewhere like the range and buy one of my favourite sort of vintage looking frames. Quick update, James has just very very kindly put this piece of artwork on the wall for me. Now this is a classic case where I would typically take the glass out of a piece of artwork because I really can't stand the reflection that you get <laughs> when you take a photo of it or even when you're looking at it. The reason I've decided to put it here, it may look a little bit weird or it may you could, may kind of be able to see my vision, but basically what I'm going to be doing is having a really big like wild bouquet in this beautiful vase so that will kind of take up this whole section of the wall but that's why i wanted to have it there i really really like it against the color of the wall i think it just looks so vintage and so sort of gloomy but in a really really nice way in a very sort of cozy way so yeah just imagine you've got a great big arrangement here I don't know what I'm gonna have I don't want it to be too green it needs to be sort of quite muted but yeah hopefully you can see the vision I thought I'd just show you the update on that I know lots of you did comment when I bought this to say that you really liked it uh, and you'd love to see where it eventually ended up and it's not typically something that you would have bought straight away um, but seeing it in the frame and seeing how it looks up close kind of changes your mind doesn't it I never thought I would buy something like this but here I am absolutely loving it I've just come upstairs for a little while to catch up on some of my own TV and I have to say the lamp looks so cosy in here. I don't know if it's actually going to focus. <laughs> if I maybe move in a bit closer you might be able to see a bit better but it looks really cosy it's so much better than this big light up at the top and it just means that I've got a bit of light to actually C. I think this is going to be my um my space for this evening I'm really really glad I've done that I'm still going strong with my papier diary so I've been filling this out as I go I've literally been going through it every single day and I'm going to catch up on a few things that I've still got left to do for the weekend see if I can get ahead for tomorrow I've got a bit of content um, to edit as well for my Instagram so I've taken some photos of the bedroom to upload on there as a little reveal so if you are over on Instagram then you probably will have already seen it I do try and tally up my YouTube or my Instagram the best I can but obviously if you are wanting to see things that are a little bit more in real time as opposed to always being a week behind on my YouTube then Instagram is a good place to keep an eye on especially my stories I upload stories every single day sometimes it's just a picture or two sometimes it's just me checking in with a cup of tea sometimes it's you know more in-depth things things that i found in the shop or things that i'm up to places i am but yeah i'm going to catch up on a bit of youtube in the background get some content edited and then and then and then this is exciting we are going to get takeaway i think james is desperate for a chinese i quite fancy like a curry or something i don't know why i just kind of feel like it but I'm happy with the Chinese. We'll get some nice Chinese food. We'll enjoy that. We'll take Ronnie out for another walk before we go. It's pretty much getting dark now, to be honest. Um, and then it's just going to be a nice cosy evening for me, I think.